On this tube right here, I have the Mavlos Ultima. If you don't know, Ultima in Portuguese means last one. Imagine how happy my wife was when I said this was the Ultima. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Levy. But, jokes aside, very very well packed, very very thick plastic tube. And then you have this cushioned sleeve. You notice that it will not say Mavlos, mine says Silvano, but it's the same deal that we have with the Solo Kings and the Pure Lures uh, of this world. They will send with some different brand, even though it's the same product. It's a two section rod that will cast from one to six grams. Uh, you can have it, mine is casting, you can also have it as a spinning rod. The spinning rods will weigh one gram less than the casting ones. So this one is 70 grams casting on the 5.6 size, so 1.68 meters will be 69. And if you go for the bigger version, which is 1.8 meters, so 5 foot 11, it will be 73 and 72 grams respectfully. Hello gentlemen. The casting rods will feature 8 plus 1 Fuji guides. Spinning will have one less, but both sizes will have the same number of guides. So if you get the bigger version, you will still get 8 plus 1 guides. The epoxy work on this rod could be better, but I cannot complain for the price. This rod cost me, I think, 36 euros. Normal price will over from 40 something to 50 something. So high 40s, low 50s. But you can get it cheaper on choice days and promotions like the anniversary sale and so on, so on. Uh, I got this rod because I had the Orca which is a tapered rod, but with a different type of handle. This handle features cork, which is a bit better. The rod is just a tad heavier than the Oka, but if I pair it with the, the Pure Lure Silver Feather, it will be still well under 200 grams for the combo. This rod also has a nice feature that it is very, very fast for a solid tip rod. So you'll get not the fastest rod, but still a fast rod with a 0.8 millimeter tip that will not break as easily as a hollow tip rod. Um, the details on the rod are actually pretty cool. If you're into the color scheme, the guys also seem okay. They say they have Fuji stamped on them. But there are still doubts that every rod that comes from China that says Fuji actually uses Fuji components. But in here we can also see the nice features of the rod. In here the line and weight rating. I didn't say the line rating, but it's it says from two to six pounds. Don't care, put whatever you want. Just use the appropriate leader and the appropriate drag on your reel. I prefer thicker lines than so 0.6 10 to 12 pounds it they are easier to manage and will not cause such a distress when you eventually bird's nest. But very very cool features the reel seat it's not the best but it's very very good for the price point and then you have the cork mine still has the plastic around it but I can tell you from the bottom part that is exposed, it's pretty cool to the touch, even if it's just a bit of veneer. Overall, I know what to expect from this rod, I expect it to be good, but that will be said and spoken on the water when I test it. And I will see you guys there on my next video. Bye!